Is this Uncle Evan? It's Uncle Evan, yeah. FMU, you're on the air. Hello? Hello, yes. Oh, yeah, hey, it's in Bowling Green. I want to talk about Class of 84. Okay. Uh, well, actually, sort of, I kind of wanted to make a recommendation also, because I, yeah. I just watched it, like, over the weekend. Yeah. And I and I loved it. It's, it's great. It's, mm-hmm. But it, it reminded me of this movie, uh, Over the Edge, from 1979. Yeah. With, with Matt yeah. Dillon. I was wondering if I was going to recommend oh, you yeah. if you had it. Scariest. That movie scared me when I was a kid. When those kids were talking over the PA, going, Do you have work? Go to hell. I was like, Ooh, I don't want to go to school. I'm scared. Remember yeah. that when they took the school over? Mm-hmm. But then, but then, uh, I, I always remember uh, Matt Dillon's line in it where he goes, "Kid who tells on another kid a is dead a dead kid. kid." Yeah. Yeah. So that's. I thought that was like the flip side of Class of '84, where like you know, I guess the protagonist in Class of '84 was. The teacher kill it, who's killing everyone, and like it's, and the kids so it's like on in in over the edge. The kids rebelled. You know what did it to him? The music Cheap of Cheap Trick. Yeah, drove him crazy. It's a great soundtrack. Isn't it weird? A dude, a bun, Bunny Carlos. This guy looks like he's fifty-eight. The music he's making is uh, leading kids to uh, take over a prefab town. Right? This guy looked like guess, one of the parents in the movie's parents. Oh, the guy who was like the who was like the mediator between the kids and the Yeah. Wasn't it like yelling? Like calm, ah, ah, calm down. No. When the kids That's took the, over the school. Mm-hmm. What school would you rather be in? The over the edge school or rock and roll high school? Oh, very easy answer. Very easy answer. I the rock and roll yes. high school. Yes. Because at the yeah, end, of, it, over the edge, you get shipped off to a uh, juvie. Oh, I forgot that the ending. It kind of has like the. You know, it's kind of like nice, but it's like they they're all on a a bus going to going to jail. They're waving from that bridge. The kids are mm-hmm, going away. Yeah. It's a great movie. Everyone should see it. Yes, it won seven Oscars. That movie. Mm-hmm. Seven Oscars: it's, Best Picture. Best Supporting Actor, Matt Dillon. Best uh, Soundtrack, Cheap Trick. Won uh, Best Fight. Right? Was that an Oscar category MTV. back in 79? <laughs> Best Fight. Scariest PA announcer. It's Orson Welles is in his top ten, even though... I would love to see Orson Welles in Over the Edge. Like, how did they not throw him $35,000 to be in that movie back then? <laughs> If if anybody only knew now, with with hindsight being twenty twenty, if you knew that Orson Welles would have done anything for barely any money, wouldn't don't you just wish that they just put him to work like where he literally was just like, I'm very busy right now. I'm on the set of I'm on the set of the Black Hole, and I've got to go. <laughs> like he would just work on any movie. I'm doing a movie with Al Pacino called Author, Author, and then I'm going to do this TV show called Bring Him Back Alive, which is a Raiders of the Lost Ark ripoff. Like, they should have just hired him all the time if people been, like, knew how cheap he worked. He could have been in Repo Man. He would have been yeah, uh, Repo Man. That Harry been, Dean Stan's character. You know what? Final ten minutes. This is maybe the greatest topic we've ever come up with. This doesn't get us in the best on the AV Club. I don't know what will do. And let me say this about the AV Club. Why don't you guys review? Li- why don't you guys uh, literally review ev- anything? Like anything gets reviewed. Uh, a single episode of a radio show. Sure, let's review it. Why don't re- we review the lunch we ate today? Like literally. Why don't they just write reviews of their lunch? C plus. Raise pizza. Mm-hmm. C plus. This is the greatest topic ever. I'm going to tell you, this topic can carry over to next week. The topic being, what movie should have should Orson Welles have been in in his golden years? Go. Golden? Give me one. You said Repo Man. That was, this is maybe the greatest man. call of the year. Uh, Thank you. FMU, you're on the air. Uh, 
Uh, hey, Tom, this is uh, Kevin from El Cerrito. Just give it uh, to me, Kevin. What movie should Orson Welles have been in? Oh, man, you got me. I've been trying to think about one, and uh, nothing's been coming to me. I was thinking of, uh, like... Uh, move on. FMU, you're on the air. Tom. Final seven minutes. Orson Welles, what movie should he have been in for the final years of his life? Go. go. Tom, I got it. What is it? Meatballs. Meatballs would have been perfect. Yes. Listen, kids. At this camp. He's, he's right. It just doesn't matter. Right. Yes, exactly. He's right. Go like get serious, him. A serious yeah. monologue after can, that scene. You can win this race, Rudy the Rabbit. You're like Rudy the Rabbit. Or just Warson Wells going, Spaz. Spaz. Yeah, maybe he, maybe he Spaz. applies the original tape to Spaz's glass. Yeah. Or him, maybe he shows up as the other kid with the hot dog eating contest to give uh, what's his face <laughs> a run for his money. This kid, this kid looks a little old. Perfect. Thank you. FMU, you're on the air. What movie should Orson Welles have been in the final years of his life? Xanadu. Xanadu. That's great. Instead of Gene Kelly or in addition? Uh, just how, if they could have got him on roller skates instead of Gene Kelly, and in then roller, otherwise, just, like you know, maybe should a, he have been in the tubes? The tube, <laughs> I guess right? so. Yeah, that yeah. would be pretty awesome. Were the yeah. tubes in that? Yeah. FMU, you're on the air. Uh, I was thinking Tron. Tron. Oh my God! Instead of uh, the, the old guy. Instead of the old guy from, uh, or should he have been a different guy? Like, should he have just been like the master control program? Well, except commands me to do battle Warner. on the game grid. <laughs> no, yeah. like when he gets hit by like a light cycle, runs into him. Thank you, FMU. You're on the air. This may be the best ten minutes in the history of the best show. FMU, you're on the air. Uh, this is Benjamin from Queens. Benjamin. I have a movie. What is it? Gremlins, the Hoyt Axton roll. The Hoyt Axton roll. You know what? Yes. I'm going to say yes. That's a great call. Thank you. FMU, you're on the air. And are you talking to me? No. FMU, you're on the air. FMU, you're on the air. Is this me? It is you. Hey, uh, it's Danny Hatch from Edmonds. Julie Klausner just wrote in saying, Smokey and the Bandit, he could have ordered the triple Diablo. I'll have a triple Diablo and a Dr. Pepper. No, he would not be alive then. And I don't like the way you said that. I still bleeped you. I think you, you said it with uh, malicious intent. FMU, you're on the air. Hi, is this me? It is you. Hi, this is Dan from Chicago. What's up, Dan? Hey, I have, um, a, 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 first of all, really sorry to hear about your stuff. That's Thanks. awful. Somebody said singles. Orson Welles should have been in the movie Singles. He would have been dead already. He died in 85, guys. Come on. It would have been nice to see him try and flirt with the girls in Singles, though. Yes. Um, yeah, so I have a really quick, short, dumb story about losing all your stuff. That's not what we're talking about now. Didn't I have it bad enough in my life? You got to take this topic away from me. Tell me about your stuff getting ruined. FMU, you're on the air. Hello, this is Haiku. I'd like to make audition. FMU, you're on the air. What is that, Mike? Haiku. Haiku? Is this a haiku? You don't like haiku? No, I'm doing a topic <laughs> right now. Oh, good. You let her call your show. Am I in the air? You're on the air. I got to tell you, this guy, he's going rogue on me. I feel like John McCain... When he realized Sarah Palin went rogue. Mike's going rogue. He's a broken arrow, which would have been a good movie that Orson Welles could have been in, but it would have been too late. Go ahead. What do you got for me? Godzilla 1985. Who was in that? Was that a, was that a U.S. one or a Yeah, Japanese? it was uh, the guy that, that played Perry Mason. So it was, uh, yeah. Thank you. That's a good one. FMU, you're on the air. Haiku. Oh, you... Go, what do you got for me? FMU, you're on the air. Oh? Yes. Yeah, this is Desmond in Chicago. He should have been in The End. The End? Like, The End with Burt Reynolds and Dom Deloitte? Yeah. That's pretty good. Thank mm -hmm. you. FMU, you're on the air. Yeah, Zardoz with uh, Sean Connery. Zardoz? <laughs> Would he play like Zardoz and wear the same outfit? Yeah, he'd have to. That's the, that's the role. I love it. FMU, you're on the air. Hi, 
Hi there, this is Haiku. Mike! I have idea for... What are you doing to me, Mike? Mike's got his own agenda out there. You gotta be courteous. Ooh. FMU, you're on the air. Is this me? Yeah, it's you. I think the Warriors. The well, What would he be in the Warriors? A baseball fury? I don't He might be the DJ. <laughs> I mean, the, you know? Yes. This is the greatest. See? This topic is... Could anybody get more from this show? Got a great call. FMU, you're on the air. Hi, is this me? Yes. All right, I have it. I have several episodes of the same series. Two. Commandant Lassard, Police Academy. Police Academy would be, like, if he played... He actually might have been in one of those movies. Are we sure he wasn't in a Police Academy <laughs> movie? If he wasn't Commandant Lassard, he was wasting his abilities. Look here, Hightower. <laughs> Hightower. Hooks. <laughs> Hooks, right? Hooks, remember Hooks? That's it. Hooks. She had the she had the goods. Fackler. And the remember Fackler? Voice. Yes. Thank you. Great call. FMU, you're on the air. Oh, this is Nathan in Tacoma. What? This is Nathan in Tacoma. Okay, Nathan. What, what do you got for me? Oh, I was just calling for. Uh, well, I was just calling for the Orson Welles topic. What do you got? Uh, Goonies. What? Goonies. Goonies. That's pretty yeah. good. Goonies never die. Mr. Mom, Ted Leo just wrote in. Mr. Mom would be pretty good. FMU, you're on the air. Uh, Colonel Kurtz in Apocalypse Now. That's uh. So you're saying bump? You want to bump Brando? You were sent a bill by. You're a clerk, or you know. Yeah. Yeah. Evo. I like when you create a new character for him to be in the movie. FMU, you're on the air. Oh, hey, Tom. Uh, what about uh, the grandpa from Willy Wonka? The gra- So instead of Jack Albertson? Yeah, it would be uh, it would be Orson Welles. I don't know. FMU, you're on the air. Hey, I got a movie for you. What do you got? Apocalypse Now. I would have liked to see him in Brando's role. Yeah, somebody just said that. I got. I quit. This is my final show, everybody. Thanks so much. We had a good run, 11 years. Mike went rogue, did his thing. I got callers saying the same things eight times in a row. I lost all my possessions. Let's call it a night. Let's call it a career. The best show, 2000 to 2011. Who wants to do the tombstone? Who wants to make the tombstone?